Hi everybody, this is Andy, and I'm here to tell you what's going on this month at Great Lakes Science Center. Now, November is fitness month, so we are exploring with lots of fun activities. One of our fun activities is called Wacky Water. It is a show that explores the physics of water and the chemistry of water. So definitely check that out if you get a chance to uh, come on down to the Great Lakes Science Center. We also have our show Slam Dunk Science, which explores the physics of basketball and some pretty fun things with uh, basketball, um, including rockets. We also have a hands-on cart activity called the Immunity Cart, where we explore how the human body fights off disease, including how it um, identifies and combats common viruses. So those are a few things that you can check out here at Great Lakes Science Center. Now before we go, I wanted to share something with you. Um, November is also Diabetes Awareness Month, and there are two types of diabetes. There's type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is preventable. Type 1, that's all based on DNA. Um, and your own genetics. Uh, type 2, you can actually have a genetic predisposition to it, which means your DNA makes you more likely to develop it if you're not careful. But even if you're, it's not in your DNA, you can still develop it if you're not careful of what you eat. So how can you be careful of what you eat? Generally speaking, natural foods like fruits and vegetables are really good for you. And other foods, um, you have to look at the, the nutrition label um, to find out. Now, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. This is just some general knowledge about how to read a nutrition label and sort of break it down. So this is Coca-Cola. Um, it's a soda. We know soda is not super healthy. There's a lot of acid in it. There's a lot of sugar in it. Both of those are bad for your teeth, and the sugar is generally bad for your body. Now, sugar is okay in small quantities, um, and a lot of labels now will have a recommended daily value of added sugar. So you can see right there, it says it has 55 grams of sugar in it. All of that is added, and that is 110% of your recommended daily value. Now, this is a small bottle. This is a 500 milliliter um, bottle. It's half a liter, it's 16.9 fluid ounces, you would probably drink this in a sitting. Like you would sit down to watch a movie or eat dinner and you'd probably drink this much. So this is a normal amount for a drink. Um, you also have juice, like this little juice box. This is 200 milliliters, so that's less than half of this. And this says it has 23 grams of sugar and zero added sugar. This is 100% juice purely natural juice. So this seems healthier. And then we have grape juice. Now you wouldn't drink this whole thing in a sitting. This one says 240 milliliters, which is about the same as this. And in that is 36 grams of sugar. But it doesn't say whether it's added sugar or not. It says it's 100% juice, but it's hard to know. So let's break this down. We have Coca-Cola, we have two different kinds of juice. In the Coca-Cola, this is 55 grams of sugar. Now, the sugar in the Coca-Cola is different from the sugar in the juice. The sugar in the juice is natural sugar. The sugar in the Coca-Cola is something called high fructose corn syrup. It's a man-made sugar that is designed to be super sweet and super cheap. So it's not granulated sugar like this that you would use to make cookies or something. It is something else. Uh, and the sugar in juice is juice is sugar that came from the, the actual fruit, so from the apple or from the grape or what have you. So it's not high fructose corn syrup. It's something else. The body will process the sugars in different way. And another thing to keep in mind is certain artificial sweeteners, the body will process it a different way or not process it at all. So one of the problems that diabetics can run into is if they if they have something with an artificial sweetener in it, that can actually mess around with their blood sugar the same way that something like high fructose corn syrup would do. So 
developing diabetes um, then dealing with diabetes you have to be sure and careful of what you're eating and to avoid developing diabetes you have to be sure and careful as well so i this is the amount of sugar in high fructose corn syrup this is that sort of man-made sweetened processed sugar so the question is an equal amount of the juice how much sugar would that be so this is less sugar and this says that you would want to drink eight fluid ounces of it this is about eight fluid ounces it's six and six and three quarters um so in that amount of drink how much sugar is there actually more um, so if you drank 500 milliliters of either of these two juices, that's about 75 grams of sugar. So there's actually more sugar per milliliter or per fluid ounce in the juice than in the soda. But that is a little misleading because once again, this is high fructose corn syrup. It's an unnatural sugar. It's a processed sugar, whereas this is natural sugar. So the body will deal with those in different ways. So even though there is technically more sugar per ounce of the juice, it might not necessarily be bad. It's still not good. I don't want to say that sugar is a good thing because sugar is not super safe you shouldn't be drinking a lot of sugar you should be eating a lot of sugar sugar is something that you should have sometimes it's not something that you should have all the time juice is generally better than soda because soda has a lot of stuff in it um, juice is usually just juice but it could be added sugar that you just don't know about maybe this has some added sugar that we don't know about Lemonade, for instance, usually has a lot of sugar because lemons are sour and you need to balance that out. Um, it's hard to tell. So it's important to keep in mind what you're eating. It's important to look at these labels and think about what you're eating and think about what it's telling you. So the Coke tells you right out front, it is a lot of sugar more sugar than you should have in a day it says 110 percent recommended daily value and that's a small soda and it's telling you there's a lot of sugar in this this is more sugar than you should have in a day the fruit juice it says that there's no added sugar so this is a little safer um, you shouldn't drink a ton of these this is probably a safe amount that you should have, you know, once in a while over the course of a day. And it's fruit juice, so it's a little safer than the high fructose corn syrup. Definitely read the nutrition labels that you have at home. See if they have any added sugar. See if there's something that you weren't expecting to have a lot of sugar in it. But keep in mind that serving size. At first glance, 36 grams, that's not a lot of sugar compared to 55 grams. But then you think about if this was the same size as this, it's actually more sugar. Um, so that's all I have. So I hope you enjoyed and remember to stay safe and stay curious.